A scramble towards the sea marks the first moments of this turtle hatchling's life. But its struggle for survival begins long before it emerges from the nest. Only one in a thousand makes it through to adulthood. On Queensland's Western Cape York, feral pigs are a ruthless predator. They dig up the nest and they eat the eggs. So, you know, they're losing all of these eggs out of the nest. And even if they don't eat the whole lot of the eggs, the other ones are not viable anyway. Scientists and Indigenous rangers have recorded up to 100% egg predation in previous seasons. Tracking the location of turtle nests and monitoring feral pig numbers has helped that number drop to around 30%. Even with drones and helicopters assisting with the legwork, analysing nearly 60,000 photographs from each field trip is time consuming. When we did this manually um, last year, it took three interns six weeks to process those photographs. So it's a, it's a huge resource drain. But artificial intelligence developed by Microsoft is speeding up the process. It's able to look at the image and understand what it's seeing. Is it land? Is it water? And then more specifically, is it turtle tracks? Is it feral pig tracks? Is it a turtle nest? Research that was taking weeks is now being completed in a fraction of the time. We automate that entire process and the computer does it for us in two hours. So it's a pretty remarkable change. Having accurate information about where turtles are nesting and where feral pig populations are at their worst means rangers can spend more time protecting these endangered species. Giving turtles a fighting chance. They have so many threats when they enter the ocean. To be able to get more, egg, more turtles into the ocean would actually increase the likelihood of having more turtles for the future. Mark Rigby, ABC News, Far North Queensland.